YouTube world, my name is Nicholas Montes, and you're watching my YouTube channel, The Teenage Movie Critic. And welcome back to another YouTube channel, everybody. I'm so excited to have y'all back here together again. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing a review for the final film in this series called Journey to Indiana Jones of the Dial of Destiny. We are in the last week, and that means today we're reviewing Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Uh, this one I actually have a lot more positive thoughts on. Not saying I didn't like the past Indiana Jones movies, but this one, I actually have a lot more to talk about with this one because I really liked it. So let's go ahead and get started talking about it. So I think when it comes to this movie, honestly, I'm just going to start by saying this is the best Indiana Jones movie for me. Now, some of that stuff can be that I think as the as a technical film with the adventure side and action. The action adventure side is a bit better in this movie than all the other films. So part of that can be that assumption, but I think that it handles everything of Indiana Jones and what it's supposed to be very right. Where you're able to have a lot more fun with the action, you're able to have fun with the adventure side of things. And I also think that the, since these movies are all about stop it, about protecting MacGuffins, their MacGuffin stories, the MacGuffin in this movie actually makes sense because when you look at the other MacGuffins, the first one was like protecting was like protecting an egg, and all these other ones they just they're all about protecting this these MacGuffins and putting them in, mu in a museum. That's not quite as interesting as what happens in this movie where it ties back to aliens. Now part of that can seem dumb. But it seems kind of cool, and it at least has some restrictions as to what this film is about. So I think the MacGuffin of it actually had reason as to why we need to protect it. What is so dangerous about it and why it needs to be protected instead of just putting it in a museum. We're protecting it because it needs to be belong in a museum. That's awesome, and it has reasoning as to why we need to protect it. I think another great thing is, you know, the characters, I think, also have a lot more better leverage when it comes to this movie. Uh, when, when it comes to this movie, you know, you got the, you got, you realize, you have this, uh, uh, um, I think the guy from Transformers, um, uh, Shia LaBeouf, I believe, Shia LaBeouf as this kid character who at first has some fun dynamics, but when he, is when he's teased to be when he is shown to be Indiana Jones' son, that was a shocker, and I didn't see that coming at all. And I'm like, kind of brought a lot of leverage to the film. And then the ex-wife comes in, and then you actually have a complete arc when you explore a little bit of their history, and then they get married in the end. And to me, that was just a great way to, to close this film. And honestly, and then of course you know you got the set, the, the music in the background. It's just, I thought this was just a great film to close out the Indiana Jones films. And honestly, I can't wait for uh, Indiana Jones on the Dial of Destiny. I may not be seeing it in the theaters, but honestly, I'll, I'll bootleg it if I have to. Now let's talk about some of the issues I had with the film. So I think when it comes to the bad, um... There's not really a lot of flaws here, because I think mostly this is where I feel like all the positives of the Indiana Jones films are really in here, and this is one I'd rather go back and rewatch. I think probably the, the twist of, you know, that character siding with the Nazis and then coming back and then siding with them seemed a little bit dumb, probably, and was kind of annoying, because it's like, why do you keep doing that to him? It's like, it's kind of weird. And then, uh, 
probably the alien stuff isn't quite as interesting. It, it, I, it does seem kind of like it's out of nowhere, but at least gives us a reason as to why we need to protect this MacGuffin. I think other than that, this movie is great, and it really gave a lot of leverage to the characters, and it had fun with the Indiana Jones action-adventure type stuff. So overall, I really enjoyed this movie. I had a lot of fun with it. And that's pretty much my review for it. Before I get my final score, be sure to know below. What were your thoughts on Indiana Jones of the Kingdom with the Crystal Skull? Um, did you guys love it? Did you guys hate it? What are in between? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. What does that tell us? Get all my scores. Alright, so that's it for my scores, but we're not done here yet. We have one more thing to do before we end this video, and that's to do my updated ranking of all the Indiana Jones films that have been released and the ones that I've seen. So let's do that. Alright, so that's it for my updated ranking. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All my social media stuff is in the back section over there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.